Hey, what's up, Switz? It's been a minute since we chilled out and just played some tribute. Update 35 is out, and with it came some big changes. With that said, I did want to go out of my comfort zone this week and play some games with the updated Hlalu and Regine, as these were the decks that saw the most changes. So let's not waste any time, enjoy the games. Alrighty. Tribute time, we're picking first. Uh, so as I mentioned in the intro, uh, I want to get more familiar with both uh, Hlalu and with Regine, especially after their big recent changes, so I'm going to not fall back on my default of Crows and Eagle, even though I like that deck combination so much. This is kind of a fun deck combination also. Oh, they're going for like pure power. Alright, interesting. We'll see how this stacks up. At least I'm pretty familiar with their decks, even if I'm not familiar with the decks that I chose very well. Um, okay, um, Pounce of Profit's an amazing card. We're really going to buy that first. Let's just check out the field here. Yeah, we'll do that. We're trying to build into Regine and Hlalu, even though I do want to pick up the Pool of Shadows. But anyway, this is an interesting deck combo because uh, you think it would be kind of a Nambo, uh, just because they're both kind of economy based. Let's see. We play, we did play basic, so we can get two off this, but it wouldn't really do anything for us. Um, let's just curse them early. I like an early curse. Um, even if they're gonna most likely just get rid of it. Um, anyway, uh, with uh, Currency Exchange, you can slow down the game so much with Regine and then just start threatening patrons so effectively. Um, it's a pretty scary combination together, and that is our main power generation in this deck is gonna be from selling cards with Lalu. All right, um, four. This is a trap, never buy this. Um, probably just, yeah, just Rick call it a day. Not a whole lot going on there. Alright, we got Pounce of Profit, big money this turn, gonna buy this Oathman. Yep, they bought it. Don't don't like this card ever. It's just not good. Alright, tons of money for us. We'll pick up this Oathman and we'll rip with the rest. Alright, see if they do the responsible thing and deal with that curse. They do have a lot of money this turn. Okay, decide not to. That's excellent for us. I mean, that's a good pickup for them. They want Black Feather Knight. I don't know if I'd buy it this early, but... Uh, Alright, we don't have a combo for our Oathman, but that's okay. So we could buy a Black Sacrament and get it off the table. If we do that and get Pounce of Profit again. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Alright, don't need to sell anything yet with Holly. We're still building our early game. Another Pounce of Profit in hand. And if our guy lives, he probably won't. Um, see if they kill him or not. Don't kill my Oathman. Let him live. I want free six cost acquires with all my turn. Yes, they let him live. Let's go. All right, excellent. Definitely kill this card on sight. Um, okay, so we have a free six cost acquire. We can protect our Oathman a bit if we buy the shield banner. I'm almost tempted not to. We'll do the responsible. Ah, we can get rally so early. Well, we can, let's do yes. Yeah, pick. I forgot we have a free acquire. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Chat. Um, all right, pick up rally, and then we're also going to rid a coin. Cool, now our Oathman is protected, um, and is going to be pro providing tons of income for us and free 6 cost acquires, as long as we don't see an ambush at the board. They're getting overly zealous just acquiring Crow's cards. Or that wasn't even an acquire, that was a, yeah. They do have a combo here, potentially? No, they didn't reach it. So what are you going to do, my friend? Dream scenario is they buy the Imprisonment, kill this, and then we sell it on 1 HP to Hlalu. Hlalu is so excellent at having contract agents, um, because as soon as they're injured, you can just sell them and get the money back as power. It's amazing. Yep, that's the worst play they could have done, um, and that's what I was hoping to see them do, because we'll now sell him. Goodbye. Um, all right, eight gold. I do want to kind of build into Prowling Shadow, just because, again, the whole point of the video was to see how good these are at slowing the game. Um, I should mention it is a new season, uh, so our opponent might not be that familiar with everything that's going on. We should probably deal with that crow. Can't kill this turn, we can kill it pretty easily next turn. What we got left? Oh, we do have Rally coming up. Yeah, we'll just kill it when we get the Rally. Um, with that in mind, should we buy the Archer's Volley? Reinforcements is pretty good too, but we're pretty split. Um, Archer's Volley. This is probably the better card if we're building... Ah, oh, look at this hand. Uh, if, if we're uh, playing a lot more focus red, because the combo potential I think is better than the uh, Archer's Volley, but because we're building more into uh, Regine and Hlalu, I don't think it's going to buy. Buy a Luxury Export to stay in the game. Cool. And they mint the curse. Okay, then, yeah, our opponent is very new. Um, that's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping for... Alright, uh, we acquire a 6 cost. Do 
do we buy? We, we can just win with the patron win, can't we? Uh, no, we don't have a agent in deck, otherwise we could. Sometimes I have to just pick up the tithe anyway. What could we do? We could curse them. Let's see if maybe we can buy an agent. This may open up a win for us if an agent pops up. Not that one though. Um, we need one that we can activate with St. Pelin, but it's all good. Let's draw our, another card. Basic coin. So we played two, we only played one. Uh, we can knock out their agent if we combo in with this. Um, we get another card off that. Let's see. Uh, they discard one, remove three cards of the tavern. Uh, no, so it wouldn't do much for us. Oh, well, no, okay, it wouldn't do much for us. Or we have, oh wait, where did we, go? oh, let's go, we just win, okay. Never mind, it's that easy chat. I don't know why. Hey, it wasn't, act was it not lighting up at first? I swore it wasn't, but anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, patron win, gotta keep an eye on that. Um, on to the next game. Alrighty, game two. We're gonna pick the same decks as last time, unless they're picking first, so they may pick one of ours for us. Klaalu is very strong. Klaalu is probably like the strongest deck in the game right now. Um, but you gotta keep in mind that just because something, a deck is really good, uh, doesn't mean you should pick it. In fact, the opposite can be true too. If it's so good that because because you're giving the same cards to your opponent um that said we're gonna pick it anyway because i want to get more custom with it Hualu, i think even though it is the best deck in the game it does require a bit of finesse um you really have to know if you're playing into Hualu for power generation as opposed to trying to get like currency exchanges um playing into Hualu is uh you have to really know when to flip the switch and start selling things um and it's an interesting counter deck with Regine being in the mix also because of the fact that Regine can start slowing down the game with prestige gain or prestige loss. Um, you can start selling way too early and then be crippled in the late game by the Regine player. All right, that was like, the, again, Port Cullis, not a good no, not a good buy. Sleight of hand is not a really great buy either. We have five, we're gonna buy pounds in profit uh, as much as I would like to get that hostile takeover. Um, nice benefit for us going second. And now we can buy Hostile also, if we get the chance, see what the opponent does. Kind of hoping they just go for like reinforcements and a writ. Now they buy Hostile. Makes sense. Um, so we have five. Let's see what we can do with it. Uh, da, da, da. Archers doesn't help us a whole lot. Reinforcements at least is like a better writ. Not having card deletion kind of sucks, chat. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's just buy reinforcements and a writ. That sounds good to me. What do we give them? Harvest season, totally fine with that. Also, sorry if you guys hear my chair squeak at all. It is like in serious need of some WD-40. All right, so we've got five gold next play. We'll buy that Archer's Valley if it's still there. If not, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. We're trying not to build into St. Pelin. They've got enough for it, so they'll probably take it. There's not a lot on offer in Tavern. Buying Ritz early is still not a bad idea. Pool of Shadows, I'd rather not buy. Again, I think Crows is really, really good, but we're not trying to build into it for what we're trying to do. So we may just, ah, six gold to Ritz feels really bad. Five gold. Let's at least harvest season and try to get something. Uh, Yeah, reinforcement's not awful. We do put Squawking out there for which if our opponent is, decides to build into crows, which I'm pretty sure the first buy was a crow card. Um, maybe not. Oh, I guess I'm not building into crows. So squawking's not bad. I mean, it, again, it replaces itself if they get the chance to take it. They're, they don't, but um, let's see if they buy that pool of shadows. Pool of shadows is also an amazing card. Okay, their thing is they're getting kind of muddy in terms of what their actual deck does right now. Okay, we're just gonna buy rally because we can do that. Because again, <laughs> so four gold for five gold. Four, four gold recurring on that uh, pounce and profit so early. Yeah, it's enormous being able to just buy whatever you want like that. Um, it doesn't seem like that much, um, but so early you can just start buying whatever you want from the tavern like that. It's pretty crazy. That's one that I have to say Pink Apple turned me on to. Uh, I wasn't super crazy about that card. I mean, I thought it was good, but I didn't think it was like game breakingly good. Um, but Pink's like, no, I hate that card. <laughs> it ruins games for me. All right, they're just buying an ambush to see. Ooh, currency exchange. Let's go. Uh, we don't have enough to buy at this turn, but you may buy. Squ eh. Squawking is a free card if we. No, it's not a free card. Squawking really doesn't do much for us. Um, we may buy Ebony Mind just to see what's up. Kind of like to curse them too. We are going to try to play around currency exchange if given the chance. Let's just see what we can get. We can barter some stuff away. Yeah, why not? I don't want them to have squawking. Cool, they can have scratch, I don't care about that. Let's go ahead and start setting up some patron stuff uh, in case we can get, the, yeah, we'll be able to get currency exchange this turn. 
and reinforcements worked out because we got the basic for St. Pelin. Good stuff all around, chat. Yeah, poor Colos does next to nothing for them. They can buy Scratch. I really don't care if they have Scratch. It's a bad card. It's only really good if you're like pure crows. Yeah, and they can have Scratch. I'm not going to lose any sleep about that. We're going to buy Currency Exchange, a much better card because it's going to give us six gold every turn. Every turn that we have it. Um, anything we want to sell? We can sell reinforcements and start setting up. Uh, see, uh, no, we do have... Uh, well, we'll hang on to it for now. With Rally and another reinforcement, it's not awful. Again, I, this is part of why I'm playing this series this way, is because I need to get better at playing Klaalu. Maybe the right play there is to sell reinforcements, and I'm just being... Uh, Hanging on to my, my cards too much, but we'll see. Good amount of power there, but it's not. It's pretty short term power. It's not gonna be able to catch up with us. We're already gonna catch up with Rally. Yeah. Put a curse in my deck. I do not care. Okay. Let's get some card draw. That's a power. Not a lot of card draw, but we don't care. Um. <laughs> I do kind of want to keep them low. Let's. They're already pretty low resources. Let's keep them low resources. See if they do the right thing and get rid of this uh, bewilderment. I always want to call it a curse because that's what it's called in Dominion. But it's, so if you ever hear me say curse instead of bewilderment, that's what I mean. Yeah. Portcullis. All right. Portcullis there worked out just as an enabler, but Archer's Valley did the work in that combo. Scratch does them absolutely no good. Just It's literally just a one gold card at this point. It's basically the same thing as having a basic coin. It doesn't help them at all. They can't buy anything from the tavern. They're probably just going to get rid of the Bewilderment, which is a sad day for them, considering the hand they played. Nope, they opt to curse me instead. I am fine with that, because I do. The, I am a responsible citizen and will deal with those Bewilderments. All right. Ba, ba, ba. All right, eight gold. I was talking too much and not thinking about what I wanted to do, chat. Um, kind of like sentries to keep slowing them down. We'll just sell it. It's not bad selling fodder. Don't really want to access crows too early. We could also curse and just go for power. I don't really care about that now. Nah, let's play long game. Let's do this. We'll sell it when he comes back. Oh, we could have St. Pellant. Ah, that was an accident. I should have, done I should have St. Pellant. Got over eager chat. It happens. Currency exchange, but we can't combo off it, which sucks. Um, again, I would kill for Red Eagle's card draw right now, but we're trying to be better. Ooh, another pounce and profit. Thank you so much for that. What a nice fella you are. Fella or lady, excuse me. Um, all right, let's buy Pounce and Profit first, see what's up. Place two cards, mm, Jarring Lullaby, this just this card just changed. Uh, we can combo make them discard cards, pretty cool. I don't want this, let's just get rid of that. All right, I did say I was going to sell the Sentry. Maybe we'll try and let him take some damage first though. I don't really want Archer's Volley though. Blackmail and set up for Bewilderment maybe? Yeah. They'll want to buy that Total Flesh, which is fine with me. They're way too far behind to be doing that. Cool, we got a Bewilderment, we don't really care. That's a-okay, we still have a ton of gold this turn. Yes, three power, it's exactly what I wanted to see. I gambled and it paid off. Again, he, he would come back, he's a recurring slow down the game effect, but he's not doing a whole lot for us, I'm not really they're not out of control in terms of speed right now. In fact, we're, we can easily catch up to them when we want to. I'm just trying to build for late game. So, uh, him coming back would be cool, but I'd rather just sell him and start threatening more patron stuff. That said, we do actually need him to win right now. I think he's our only agent. We don't have any shadows yet. That's a good point, too. <laughs> Lots of options, chat. It's a cool game. Especially when I'm playing decks that I don't normally play. Because again, this was Red Eagle. Okay, yep, there's the one damage to our guy. Uh, we do want to deal with that curse. That said, we also have a lot of money. We'll get rid of the curse, and then we'll just buy Jarring Lullaby. So we can start making them discard too. Oof. Yeah, there's their bewilderment. Let's see what else they got. Still have one more power to get through. We've taken the lead, and we have the better deck. See if they get to the combo off hostile. Oh, they do. Yeah. Okay. They buy an agent that we don't care about. Cool. Cool. Uh, leaving him around. Yeah. We're gonna get to threaten with the Saint Pelin after they kill him. That said, we have four basics in hand. Ew. Gross. 
Um, hmm. We don't want total flesh. Black Sacrament does nothing. We can grab another reinforcements. I'm a little worried about skewing two into red at this point, but we also don't have that much hollow. It's not the end of the world. We did have a bewilderment this turn, right? Yeah, let's just do the responsible thing, get rid of the bewilderment. Them cursing us this turn, or this late, is actually really good because uh, we've got so many cards that we bought. We didn't writ that much early on that them just putting extra cards in our deck to slow down our combos is really good. Ooh, they did get a chance to pop combo off here, though, between the Pelon and the Crows. We actually have a match going on, but we are going to get a card draw off Rally. We've got a lot of potential hits there. But that is a lot of power, and if they Crows, we'd be in trouble. They'd choose not to, though. Okay, that works out for us. Yeah, we would have been actually in a rough spot if they crowed, but they didn't. Fine by me. Again, new season. Uh, some newer players. Potentially. Ooh, tied on the board. That's really juicy. We still can't threaten without St. Pelin, but... Something to think about. Well, you got nine power and one coin. What you gonna do with it, homie? Not much, I assume. All right, cool. Let's see, what we get off our card draw first. Does not gonna influence that much. Okay. So, what can we sell right currently? We can sell rally. Uh, we're not doing that until I know for a fact that we can win the game. Uh, we can buy Jeering. It's very late. Jeering and Rit, probably. How much do they have until they draw again? Opponent's draw hand. They've already got two curses coming up. They're pretty low. I have to just keep throwing curses in there. But they're close to winning the game, or at least threatening the end of the game now. Ah, curse. I like Regine, he's a homie. The smart thing here is I honestly probably to buy the tithe just to get rid of rid of it, but I'm not too worried about them doing that. Ooh, look at this hand. They've got nothing. Yeah, a bunch of basics and some curses, and they got a guaranteed curse next turn. They rid it away, presumably, yeah. Sweet. This is gonna be good for us. Alrighty. So again, we don't want to sell this because we want to threaten a patron win with it. Um, could crows here? Let's just put them in check. We've got a huge body on the board they have to get through on top of generating a bunch of power. That's probably a good game. Yeah, they got two bewilderments. That's a good game. Yep, just being aware of when to put... Again, I think they could have beaten us if they had crows earlier the turn they had the huge income. Um, I could be wrong. Again, YouTube comments will let me know because I probably did my math wrong. Um, but... I don't know if we could have caught up that turn. We would have had to sell some stuff that we didn't want to, at least. Um, so if they had, if they had reached 40 on that turn by using Crow, um, yeah, they can't catch us. Good game, uh, and we will see you in the next one. All right, last game of the night, chat. Up against Raining Dragon. Who's picking first? We haven't really seen... I kind of expected Regine to get the chance to kind of combo off a bit more um, and really slow down the game. We haven't seen a lot of that. Um, haven't, but that's also partially because the tavern just hasn't given us the agents for it. All right, they're on the play. We've got six gold on our turn. I would like to buy that Jeering Shadow just because I'd like to see what he does. I definitely think this is going to be a Crows game with that start of a board. They're probably going to buy Full of Shadows. Thought so. Ooh, never mind. We're by Oathman. That's what I'd like to buy, please. Thank you. Oh my god. All right, we're in for it, chat. We're going to stand, stick with our guns. We're going to build Hualu and Jeering Shadows, even though Crows is going to define this game. <laughs> but, uh, all right. <laughs> I'm a little scared, chat. Not going to lie to you. But uh, we're not playing the tavern. We're playing the decks that we want to see do stuff. All right. We do get a chance to make them lose. This one of these prestige they're going to get. And we're going to get to acquire a card up to six. We'll buy that Squawking for free. Again, Squawking replaces itself. So, oh, they're probably going to buy Squawking. Oh, they don't have the chance. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to acquire Squawking just because A, it's going to replace itself. And I really can't afford to just let them have it. Um, 
Yeah, give me that. We played two Hualu cards this turn, so we'll buy this because it's free money for us. Stubborn Shadow, really slow down the game. And then... I'd like to buy Black Sacrament just so they can't have it. We have two agents. Um, again, our agents aren't super well protected. Um, they're both pretty low HP, but I'd still rather just not give them the out. That was a very good turn for us. Moonlit Illusion on board. They've still got a great turn for them too, the seven gold. Two power can kill at least one of our agents. Probably the Oathman, yeah, he's way more threatening. Which means we still get the, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about the, uh, the Sigic, Sigic, uh, support, or patron. Probably take Moonlight Illusion if they're building crows, just start getting rid of some of their, their cards in deck. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Alrighty, not anything spectacular for us to buy this turn. We made by Pool of Shadows. Again, we have Squawking, and I just don't want them to have it. I'd rather, much rather give them a Black Feather Brigand or a Sovereign's Roost. I'm not too scared of either one of those cards. Cool, we get to cost them Prestige again. That's what I was hoping to do this game. We are unfortunately going to have to get rid of the Black Sacrament. <sighs> well, yeah, it's, it's a much cheaper version of their Patron, and the Patron already favors them, so we'll probably have to buy the Black Sacrament on our turn. Yeah, Jiren Shadow's only one power, do we care? That's probably... Them spending two gold on to get rid of a one health agent's actually almost just a flat win for us anyway. They don't have any guaranteed power, only Pool of Shadows would give them power. So maybe we don't. Maybe... We do something more interesting. Play one Crows, we need... What are our odds? Not great at drawing another one. Just trying to spice the tavern up a bit. Um, you know what? Let's curse them. Early curse. If it gets more than one, more than one turn of getting ignored, that's that's good for us. Let's just see how our opponent reacts to it. Especially if they're playing crows, we do want to kind of disrupt their their uh, combos because they're such a combo heavy deck. So they're gonna get rid of our jeering shadow. That's fine. Most likely, maybe they leave it alone. Probably not though. I would definitely take it out for one health. But yeah. So again, I mentioned in my video about these essentially still having taunt without actually having taunt um, because they're, the low health means they're going to basically target it anyway. So it generating gold for while losing taunt is super good for it. That's actually a buff. Cool, I'm fine with them having that. I don't really care about them having agents. In fact, we need them to have it if we want to threaten a patron win. Alrighty. So we're one short of being able to buy another oath, man. Goodbye, sleight of hand that I don't really care about. Just get that to get it out of their hand. Uh, can't draw another card. Right, let's leave Ebony Mine on the table for us. Kind of just want to throw in another curse at them and then hopefully combo off next turn. Yeah. I think, I think cursing the Crows player is probably a good idea. Oh, okay, cool. This is great. We get the combo off too. So they're going to have to spend four gold if they want to get rid of our Oathmen, which they definitely want to, because just letting us freely acquire six cost cards every turn is not in their interests. Um, which means they're not stuck with anything else to buy. If they leave it for us, we're going to take that Ebony Mine and just go off, but there's no way they do. This is a kill on sight card. Most agents are, but that one in particular is really good. Okay. What do you can do with four gold? You can combo Sovereign's Roost, make us discard one next turn, draw play. They could go off. Yeah, it's not an awful play. Two more cards. Eh, there's a bewilderment. Love to see it. And a basic coin. Great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll drop our regular coin. That's going to really hurt them. All right. A free Oathman for us. And we're going to buy this. We're going to kill your guy. Cool. So what do we do with our other eight gold? Do we buy Toll Flesh? Yeah. Again, I really just like the idea to keep cursing them. They've got two in there right now. We've got protection for our Oathmen, so we can just start buying and selling stuff on demand. Let's just curse. I like the setup, chat. I really do. I was a little worried at the start, but I think we're gonna be okay keep their power level low, can keep their combos low. Regine works really well against crows. 
They can curse us all they want, I don't care about that. Go ahead, do it again. Do it. I want you to do it. Can't kill our Oathman. They don't have the money for it. Great. That was a super strong turn for them and it did nothing. Like, let's go. You can throw one point of damage at our Oathman if you want to. Bartering like that when it's about to be our turn, I don't agree with at all. If they don't take a shot at our Oathman, they're gonna regret that. All right. I murder crows and curse. Glad you want to keep them in danger here. We can we can afford to play the slow game. All right, they drew bewilderment this turn. Let's see if they do a reasonable thing. Get rid of it. Not an outstanding turn for us next turn. They have enough damage to get rid of our agents. But we've got another oathman in the deck coming. Do you wish I had some card deletion. So again, they're they're just having to spend so much money just to, or so much power just to get rid of the stuff that we're playing for free. I don't care about a curse. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Murder crows here sucks, unfortunately. In fact, you might want to just sell it. Get by prophecy and sell it too. This is not a crazy turn for us. Yeah. Let's do that. Actually, I kind of just want to get rid of the murder because I just really bought it so that they couldn't have it. We're not really building into it. Oh, okay, good turn. Those, those first couple hits were, were rough, but did they get rid of their... Oh, they had double bewilderment last turn. I don't think they got rid of the bewilderment last turn. I wasn't paying close enough attention. They have to get rid of one this turn. They'll have another play. Cool. Lots of card draw for us, please. Get rid of your guy, set up my guy, take away your power. Get rid of that curse, I'm a responsible citizen. Sleight of hand doesn't really do anything for us. I would like to get this later. We'll buy another prophecy. We'll just, it's just good selling fodder for us. Again, the bewilderments are way more of a problem for them than they are for us. Double oath, men, love to see that. Hey, go ahead and curse me, I don't care, dude. We just have to make sure we acquire a, uh, all right, well, hang on, let's buy some stuff here first. Squawking, let's go off. I do want to sell this prophecy, it doesn't do a whole lot for us, but. The thing is, we need to get rid of some of these cards out of the deck first. Let's just play this now and replace some cards. Let's just get rid of both sleight of hands. Actually, no, 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 we don't want them having more crows. What am I thinking? Cool. Uh, Want to buy the Jarring Lullaby. Yeah, because we acquire plunder for free. Uh, yeah, let's do that now. Acquire plunder. You can acquire pounds of profit. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I love to see it, chat. Go ahead and curse him just as a extra slight against them. That was an amazing turn for us. We had double Oathman protected. We are in great shape. Oh, look at this. Okay, okay. I was so nervous at the start chat, but this is gonna be a great game. We're into, they, they're basically gonna have to start pressuring us on patrons. It's their only hope, because we've really locked them down, but we're gonna just have, we have our total engine online. We're just gonna be going nuts. Both our Oathmen trigger each other, which is fantastic. We only need one card to trigger off Stubborn Shadow, who's currently protecting our Oathmans. Um, yeah, they have to start threatening patron stuff, so they're just gonna start trying to throw us, slow us down. That's a-okay. All right, let's buy Tithe for us, just cause I wanna get better draws or better buys off the Oathmen. Um, so let's curse, I need to keep them low on money. Uh, what do we acquire here though is the question. I kind of want to just draw another card. I really want to get this. Ah, eh, didn't happen for us. So we've got another free choir. Do you want to keep them patron screwed? I don't know why. It's just because it's the most expensive thing. I don't really want to buy anything else because our deck's beefy now. Uh, the low cost stuff will only hurt us. Awesome, awesome. We're in great shape. 
We do still have to wait for them to get agents for, to trigger the uh, the Sigic guy, unfortunately, but we're still in really, really good shape. Alright. Uh, I don't want this anymore. Alright. I'll buy Sigic Insight just because it's the most expensive thing here. Did we play a blue this turn? We didn't. Let's acquire it just to acquire it. Whatever. Stack our deck some. Whoa, look at that. I guess we'll just leave that alone. Uh, again, acquire scratch to sell. I don't want any of these. All right. Yeah, we're going to buy the bag of tricks on our turn, too. Oh, look at those bewilderments stack up. You got to get rid of those. I know I didn't just now, but, you know, you got to get rid of those. And get rid of one of our Oathmen. Let's shut down our engine a bit, but he'll be back. Oh, he's been back. Ooh, Kinsman, we want to. All right, we're going to get rid of their agent for free. Bye. Ah, uh, wait, I should have just paid for it. Oh, whatever. Cost them a bunch of stuff. All right, uh, buy this. Actually, I'd rather just sell this. Would I? Oh, they just gave up. I don't blame them. They were so insanely behind that that was gonna be a very long game that they were gonna lose. So, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed the games this week. Thanks as always to the many members of House Telvani. If you enjoyed that video, consider checking out the rest of the tribute playlist on my channel. And I'll see you in the next one.